Mahaba, I am Jessalyn. Let's dive into the latest What's New in DevTools in Chrome 130, 131, and 132. Let's go! First up, the new AI Assistance Panel can help you debug and fix styling issues. Let's see it in action. Here is the website I built for our DevTools Cinem AI, featuring movies about all our favorite panels. But there is one pesky little bug. The icons in the buttons do not align properly. Let's ask AI Assistance to fix it for me. I search for the button in the Elements Panel, right-click it, and select Ask AI. This opens the AI Assistance Panel, where I can enter my prompt. How can I align this icon with the text in the button? After I hit Enter, AI Assistance investigates the styles currently applied to the selected element, and if required to answer my question, also other elements around it. After a brief moment, it comes up with a fix for my problem that I can immediately apply. Great. Now that my button is all in shape, let's buy some tickets for Jess, Oliver, and I. We wanted to go see DevTools 2, but when I click Buy Tickets, the ticket shop did not appear. To debug, I go to the Network panel to check. Indeed, there is a failing request, but I'm not familiar with the Ticket Shop API since I have not built it myself. To quickly get an idea of what the error could be, I click Ask AI. And yes, that's right. AI Assistance not only works for styles, but network requests, performance profiles, and sources too. To learn more about AI Assistance, Check out this link for all the use cases. Hey, Jess, take a look at this page. I'm trying to figure out where this extra scroll bar is coming from, and it's driving me crazy. Maybe I should ask AI to. Wait, 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 wait. There is an easier way to find it. Oh, interesting. See this new scroll bash? It shows you exactly which container is scrolling, even on super complicated pages with tons of nested elements. No AI needed. Next up, the performance panel now gives you helpful insights to pinpoint problem areas and lets you annotate traces with your own notes. Open any trace, and you will find a list of awesome expandable insights. Here is the cool thing. When you expand an insight, DevTools highlights the exact spot in the trace so you can dive right in. And guess what? This is just the beginning, with more insights coming soon. Let us know what you think in the comments below or here. Next, let's switch to the Annotations tab. There are three ways to add your own notes to the trace. Double-click an entry to start adding notes. This works on other tracks as well. See, you can even double-click a resource and link them up. Not only that, you can highlight and annotate an area by holding the Shift key and dragging. Here is the best part. Let me save this trace with all the annotations and send it to Oliver. Yay! No more screenshots needed. Thanks, Jesslyn. You know, I always love getting more work. But hey, let's put that aside. Here's a little trivia for you all. You can store data in local storage and index DB, but where else? Uh... Mm, extension? Storage? Bingo, extension storage. You can finally debug it with DevTools. I know, I know, extension developers have been asking for this forever. Let's head to example.com and open DevTools. I have a few extensions installed that are running scripts on this page. If I switch to the application panel and expand extension storage, I can see all of those extensions and the storage their associated scripts have access to. Let's choose the local entry, and I can see all of the data stored by my extension in the chrome.storage.local area. If I click on the config entry, I can see the value passed as JSON in the preview widget. I can expand various keys and see the structure of the object I've stored. Let's try changing a value. Just like with other storage areas in DevTools, I can type a string here to set the value. Specific to extension storage, which supports JSON values as well as strings, any JSON I write here will be passed and stored as an object. Now, this isn't the only context where extension storage is exposed. You'll see it when inspecting an extension service worker, an extension background page, or even a tab open to a Chrome extension page. Thanks, Oliver. Next up, 
Did you notice your console error is much shorter now? Thanks to the ignore listing enhancement. See this error? You probably cared about your hello world code, not all the framework stuff. So we hide it. Less noise, more focus. And if you ever need to see the full trace, just expand the hidden section. By the way, we also add an option to skip pausing in anonymous scripts. You need to enable this setting in the Acknowledge. All right, time for a bonus tip. Do you know network export excludes sensitive data by default? You can still include them if you really want to. When you click on the Export button, by default, DevTools excludes sensitive information like cookie, set cookie, and authorization headers to avoid unintentional data leaking. It is a serious security concern, and there have been many such incidents in the past. If you know what you are doing, you can enable this setting. With that, you get an option to export full data by long pressing on the button. You also get another additional copy menu. Finally, that's all for today. Don't forget to check out our blog and explore all the latest updates. Especially those AI ones. No, the extensions ones. No, those AI ones. No. No. Just check out everything below. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Ciao. Ciao.